let f of x be equal to the negative absolute value of the quantity x minus 1 plus 1 and g of x be equal to f of and then in parentheses negative 1 half x and then minus 2 at the end. Which transformations map f of x to g of x? And remember that the order matters. So first let's look at the different Roman numerals and our transformation function. We have a negative one-half x inside of the parentheses. The subtraction of two has to go last, and that's going to be a vertical shift down. So the very last step that we are going to have here is Roman numeral six. So we can actually eliminate choices b and c right away because they end in five, shifting up two, and that's not happening in this case. So now let's look at what's inside of the parentheses. We have a horizontal stretch going on because our b value is 1 over 1 half or 1 over 0 0.5. If we were to make this a solid fraction without any decimals, we could multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10. That would give us 10 over 5. In other words, it moves the decimal point one unit to the right. And then if we reduce it, we end up getting two. So we're going to have a horizontal stretch away from the y-axis by a scale factor of two. So that's happening first. So our y-intercept at the origin is going to stay the same. But then instead of having a vertex of 1, 1, it, the new vertex is going to be at 2, 1. And then it's going to go down like this. Okay, so it's doing that horizontal stretch away from the y-axis by that scalar of 2. And then what it's doing is it is then reflecting over the y-axis. So we're then going to have this function right here. And then finally, we're doing that vertical shift down two units to get to where g of x is located. That means the correct answer here is 1, 4, and then 6. Answer choice A. It is also worth noting that another order for the transformations that would have also worked would have been to switch Roman numerals 1 and 4 around. However, since that was not an answer choice, there was no other answer choice that would have worked.